Hey there, it's me again, and here's the sequel, like I don't have the disc, but I can show you the game. And the game easily get through those bars. Yep, the hunter is back. I need help too. Hmm. Let me think. Hey, where are you going? And Kao Kangaroo can actually talk. In the first game, and the bird did not talk. But I do like Kao's new style and his oh. wonderful oh. accent. Also, this game is on Xbox. Well, the original Xbox. GameCube, PlayStation 2, and PC. And I like his new outfit. Give KO Kangaroo some pants, shoes, and the middle of it says his name on it. And he looks so darn adorable. And just like in the last game, KO can actually control pretty smoothly and perfect. And like in the last game, you had to collect a thousand of these coins. And to get past this pirate. You can react to other animals. Also, well, the first world you enter is in the forest. And the insects give you advice what to do. And another unskippable commercial. Since I can't skip it. Anyways, at least you still can punch, kick, carry those by pressing the hold button and throw it at the direction they're at. So like in the last game, well, sort of different. And it can actually tail whip, punch, and kick. Kind of like Super Mario 64. And collect stars. Also, you can target on your enemies by throwing the fist at them. Kind of like Rayman Free. Ignore that. You still find hidden coins everywhere you go, and explosives are there for some reason. Basic platforming game. This sequel is slightly better than the first one. It does give you like more challenges and more upgrades and he can roll I'm doing different techniques in the game besides hopping of course since he has a kangaroo jump on platform rides all kinds of amazing things you do in this game 
get chased by a bear, which I did not show you. And most likely, most interesting bosses you've ever seen in the game. Too bad when I played the game, and I got for like a few bucks. It only played certain halfway through. But since we got YouTube... Oh, we can see the entirety of the game, how it works. The bosses are pretty challenging to fight. You go to an icy world level. Go on rides, which is also based off Rayman and two. Fly down, fight snowballs. And yes, they give this hunter a voice, which is slightly not bad, but I hear more threatening animal hunters. Don't care. Hairs like Clayton from Tarzan. But anyhow. Oh, you jump on these ride cards. Get more items. And then everywhere. Talk to a parent on how many stuff you can. You get a ride on a boat. I'm on the water, which also is from Rayman 2. How instant animals and danger. Swim underwater, do this, do and defeat the giant octopus. <laughs> I do like the boss's designs. Let's read the octopus. I love octopuses. Hit his tentacles and he's finished. He did stork. Yeah, it's kind of like one of those type of games that you had to. Do missions at their missions, save game, and all sorts of those sorts of stuff. And there, the jungle, fight enemies, do this. It's just you doing trial missions. End up in these interesting, awesome chase. These in KO can actually run pretty fast. That's which is a great thing. And you have to get these purple orbs. Which will help King our hero, or Kangaroo, to go faster to escape danger. And checkpoints are useful. So just like the last game, you do these sorts of rides. Grinding and using that awesome boomerang weapon. Also, oh, you can hold down the button and KO use his boxing glove like a telescope. 
which I always find pretty interesting. Jump on platforms like the oversized burger you just saw. I actually like this game. Too bad that I only played half of it because it, there, it did not work so well on the PlayStation 2 because it's a blue disc. Anyway, so let's head to the final battle between K.O. Oh, and the Animal Hunter. Find out the pirates. And there are a few bonus stages that... That are supposed to be fun, but they're just there. Or you don't get no rewards, you just do them because... They had to pat this game's timing somehow. You don't get enchantments or unlockable stuff, you just do that for the heck of it. As I was saying, and we get to the final boss, which is the hunter. Our beloved hero, K.O., gets ready to fight him to the end, and ending his reign of terror of capturing poor innocent animals. Oh yeah, I need to fly too. this up quickly as possible so there won't be no part two of this review. <laughs> K.O. Kangaroo, that's the best of fight, ain't the villain. Of all his strength and power, punching him right in the chest, I guess. Also, did I forget to mention their voices changes in these different systems? Because I realized the Hunter's voice did not sound like that in the Xbox game. Anyways, the paragraphs his gun and throws it in the water. And this is how the game ends. The Hunter is defeated for good this time. And ends up in a random iron when crying his humiliating defeat. You will find this ending kind of disappointing. But at least the rest of the game is actually pretty great. So, this game is actually good. It's actually pretty great. But it's done by a different company. And our Italian, Russian, oh, whatever. This game is actually great. And then, okay. It's actually not half bad. And it's done by the company Atari. I mean, that did other great games. Games like Ghostbusters. There's 2009. So the graphics are pretty amazing, actually. Voice acting is spot on. I just love KL Kangaroo since he is so freaking cute. Music's actually amazing -ing as well. Graphics in the backgrounds were beautifully done, too. So, I give K.O. the uh, Kangaroo. Oh. Oh, it's sequel that's slightly better than the first one. A 9 out of 10. And I'll probably catch you guys in the next review. Oh, when I do another 
Ursi. Well, probably not the third game to this one, but probably an interesting review of a game that deserves to have a franchise. See you then, and leave a like and subscribe. Goodbye for now.